Daryl Henderson is a huge name in the NFL this year. The Rams lost Cam Akers to a torn Achilles. Their running back depth chart seems very thin behind Henderson. It's a good spot. Maybe that means Henderson's about to inherit a giant role. Our job as film watchers is to decide for Rams purposes, for fantasy football purposes, how will that go? Hey there, I'm Chris. Thank you for watching. I, I would love it. Quickly, really quickly, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Just click the little bell. I think it might be up there. Uh, like the video. It helps a lot. Really, it, it would be a wonderful thing if you do that. All right, so so Daryl Henderson. Uh, I, I liked him a lot last year for drafting purposes. I had him as a flag player, but 2020 didn't start great. Uh, Cam Akers was the clear starter in week one. Malcolm Brown might have been the backup. We didn't see much Daryl Henderson in week one or in, in week two until Cam Akers got hurt. Akers wound up missing a month. Brown played a lot too, but Henderson did do well with his opportunity. Let's take a look. This play shows off some good stuff about Henderson and also surrounding Henderson. It's a gap play. It's blocked really well. Watch 89 Tyler Higby kick out the end as Henderson cuts back. What we're seeing here is this is real good offensive line in 2020. And we're also seeing watch number 21 Jalen Mills. So his job, he's got to pick the right angle. And and Daryl Henderson's job is to beat him one-on-one. -on -one. And you see Henderson wins. This is the sort of Devonte Freeman kind of run see it don't mess around hit it hard get vertical and then you can see the Eagles run him down Daryl Henderson is not a breakaway speed kind of runner this is really good and I think it would be easy for some folks to see the basic outlines of this play and say oh come on that's a huge hole of course Daryl Henderson gets 14 yards but if we slow it down and watch it closely I think you'll see well, well it's zone and Henderson drifts left there's nothing there he really explodes right, almost trips himself, getting over maybe two full gaps. And then, sure, is the lane giant for him to go through? Absolutely, but not every running back in the league gets over there. Derrick Henry, David Montgomery, they don't get over there. But listen, also sometimes there was just a benefit of being the Rams running back last year. This was just a great big hole right from the start, and I'm pretty sure you and I and maybe our Ch children <laughs> could have gotten five yards here. Henderson's pre professional athlete, so he gets 14 yards. But when people talk about situations, you know, I, I just want a guy in that situation. That, that matters, right? Sometimes those situations don't recur from year to year. But I understand why we're excited about Henderson's opportunity. Hey, this show is sponsored by Manscaped, the world leaders in below-the-belt grooming. It's time to be accountable. What do they say? Get rid of the funk, shave your junk. Precision tools for your family jewels. I am one of the first people to use the Lawnmower 4.0. You need to shave your body hair, guys. And I really shouldn't have to tell you that using the same electric razor on your nether parts that you use on your face is gross. Wireless charging, skin safe technology, so you don't have to worry about massacring your boys. Sure, we can have a giggle about this, but I'm serious. I use it. Manscaped legitimately works great, and you'll have it forever. And I can get you 20% off with free shipping when you go to manscaped.com and use the code HarrisTube. Use the right tools for the job. 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code HarrisTube. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more Daryl Henderson in just a second. Can I remind you, please, just to subscribe to the channel? It really, really helps. It helps us become more visible. It just helps the, the business generally. So if you're enjoying this video, it really would help us out if you would subscribe. Okay, so now we do have Acres out for the rest of the season and maybe longer with a very serious Achilles injury. And we have to decide what we're going to how we're going to value Daryl Henderson, both as an NFL player. Are the Rams really going to use him? as their main guy, and also, of course, for fantasy, we want to know, maybe he should be an RB1. And I will say, as someone who was a very big booster of Daryl Henderson last year, maybe the market's going a little crazy on him right now. Okay, so let's show you back-to-back -back plays. This is a good one, similar to a couple plays ago. Yeah, there winds up being lots of room for him to roam, but what we're seeing here is the vision to find the cutback lane, and then really good change of direction. Okay, maybe he's not Christian McCaffrey, but he's really good. You get yourself out of trouble, get upfield quick. Yes, the fact that there's somewhere to go makes this possible, but this is good. But here's where we get into maybe some of the limitations that Henderson brings. Very next play in this game. Hey, we will take the goal line chance, but if Henderson was a blazing runner, he just outruns everyone to the corner here. And if he weighed more than 208 pounds, which 
you know, he probably doesn't actually play at 208, you can see he's not bowling over anyone who gets direct contact on him. You can see this goal line play against Tampa is a Jared Goff audible that obviously did not work. Thanks, Jared. We're not blaming Henderson for not getting in. In this case, you know, probably not too many people other than Derrick Henry get in. And Henderson did have some success on the goal line. I, I can show you a quick montage of those. We will take them. They are good. If the Rams rely on Henderson as their pure starter in 21, this is part of the deal, right? Starting running backs get these. Now, I don't know. In none of these cases would you say the touchdown happened because Henderson's great. Mostly we're talking about throwing his body against the rocks and hoping he gains a yard, which is tough work for a smaller back for sure. This one, though, against the Eagles, this is a pretty great Hend Henderson effort here. Like, real balance. He, he doesn't have huge mass to him, right? But he just stays alive, stays balanced, drives and drives, finally gets in. I mean, I think we're learning here that Daryl Henderson's a good little player. But here's another carry inside the five late in the year against the Seahawks. Again, not quite fast enough to get the edge. And unfortunately, this is the play that enders ended Henderson's season. Pretty innocuous looking, but it turned out to be a high ankle sprain, and he went on injured reserve and missed the playoffs. Uh, if he was just a little faster, he doesn't get run down from behind there. So these are the film grades I gave Henderson in my player profile almanac. He's a smaller but good player. He really does remind me of Devontae Freeman. And we shouldn't forget that at his peak, Devontae Freeman was the number one running back in fantasy in 2015, thanks to skills that are similar to these. Maybe a little more power to him, but also a very good situation with Atlanta. This is a good profile. Uh, incidentally, if you want to find my grades on every player that matters for this year, in my player profile almanac, you can find the link in the show notes below. So as I mentioned, Daryl Henderson was a flag player of mine last year. It worked out really well for the first half of the season, thanks to the Cam Akers injury. As of week 10, Henderson was the number 15 running back in fantasy. But there really is a reason the Rams went back to Cam Akers once he was healthy. And it's the same reason that even as Henderson was submitting highlights like these good plays, Malcolm Brown was also still playing a lot. Henderson was the starter, but you saw a lot of Malcolm Brown. I think it's that putting all your eggs in the small running back's basket. It can wind up being a problem. I'm recording this in early August. So far, the Rams say that Henderson is their guy, and they have no plans to sign someone else after Akers' injury. Then I watch Henderson clutch his knee and miss most of the Arizona game. I, I don't think I believe it. Earlier in the season, after this hit in the second quarter against the Dolphins, Henderson left and didn't return. Obviously, any running back can get hurt. It's a brutal position. I just find it hard to believe the backup plan for a team with Super Bowl aspirations is going to be Xavier Jones and Jake Funk. I hope it comes across that I like Daryl Henderson, because I do. The Devontae Freeman comparison is real and really meant to be a compliment. Could be a very year for Henderson. My biggest worry is that we go all the way through August... We do all our fantasy drafts, we, we set all of our expectations for the Rams, and then on September 1st, oh yeah, they're signing Adrian Peterson, or they're signing Frank Gore, or they're trading for Sony Michelle. There's helium in Henderson's rank for fantasy. I have him RB21. I admit, if a signing doesn't come by like the third week in August, for fantasy purposes, I'm probably going to raise his rank some. But... I really don't think that Henderson will get into the RB1 range for me for fantasy for some of the reasons I said. Not because I think he's a bad player, but I do think maybe another player is coming along. And if he has a weakness, maybe it's going to wind up being health and injury issues with the Rams. That is going to do it. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you think. Are you more into Henderson than I am this year? I'm not not into him. I just maybe don't think he's RB10, but I'd love to hear what you think. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Please, please, please smash that like button. Write a comment. Tell us who else you'd like to see us review film on. And of course, best of all, please subscribe to our channel and then click that little bell above the subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever we post a new video.